Hey guys, Blake here with another video and today I'm determined to find out what is the best for root tab, is there any difference and do we need them at all? So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so to detail this experiment today, we're gonna basically um, set up these pots as individual experiments. We've got one control and then the rest we're gonna put all the individual root tabs in. The ones that we're gonna test out today, we have uh, root tabs from Dymax, Liverpool Creek Aquariums, API. We've got some Osmocote root tabs, which are the typical DIY style root tab. These guys here are the um, Amazonia supplements that come in the bag of ADA Amazonia, so ADA root tabs, um, if you will. And then last but not least, we've got some Seachem root tabs as well. Now, they come in different sizes, but for the most part you get 10 in a bag. Obviously the Osmocote root tabs, you get a lot more bang for your buck. Liverpool Creek, they sell in quantities of 20, and Dymax actually come in quantities of 50. I will also put um, on the screen now, I'll put the prices that I paid for each of these alongside them so you can roughly see what we're talking about in terms of price difference. Also, I will run a control here, so this one, we'll just have plain gravel in it so that we can see exactly how much difference there is. I've got a bunch of stem plants here, seven of each, basically all the same size, and we're gonna plant it out with a bunch of different things. We're gonna set this up and run this uh, test for quite a while um, until there's a dramatic difference, so um, who knows when this video is coming out to you, but um, other than that, I think we just get started by filling up these terracotta pots with some ordinary pea gravel and then we'll get started. Okay, so to get started, I've just basically filled up all of these. We've got a piece of filter floss at the bottom, and then we've got some pea gravel halfway filled now. And it's important, I guess, to note that the pea gravel, I've got all from the same bag, and it's a brand new bag from the hardware store. So you can be sure that there's no nutrients. You know, I haven't grabbed some out of an aquarium where the fish have been creating waste and uh, nitrates. So it's totally even playing field here. Now what I'm actually gonna do is work out the cost that I paid and then divide that by, you know, the percentage of the packet that I'm gonna use. For example, this Seachem one has 10 tabs and if I use one, then I'm gonna put in 10% of the price that I paid and then that is the figure that's gonna be on screen at the end when I have all of these with the correct dosages that I'm gonna use. So we'll go along now and we'll um, basically dose up our tabs uh, into these pots and we'll get cracking with this, this experiment. So, um, so let's keep moving with uh, this little science experiment we're gonna run. We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited Okay, so there you go guys, the terracotta pots are all set up now. As you could see in that little montage, most of them got one tab except for the Osmocote. Just because they're so cheap, I feel like naturally I would put a couple in, you know, I'd at least put them a little bit more regularly than other root tabs if I was filling out an aquarium. 
The ADA for a similar reason, you get them for free so I'd probably use them a little bit more liberally and the Dymax as well because you get 50 in a box so um, once again I feel like I would use a couple um, rather than just one so um, other than that everything else just got one and um, basically based on a sort of a cost, a cost uh, factor there so um, we'll get them planted now I'll show you what I've got to plant in them we're going to plant them all identically and then we're going to put them into we'll get planting now and um, let's have a chat about what's exactly going to go in them okay so the plants that we have to go in them identically we have seven stems of Ludwigia Rubin we have seven stems of this plant here is called uh, Syngananthus Belem it's another stem plant here pretty identical lengths there we have seven stems of the uh, Ludwigia Super Red here as well so we'll see if there's you know higher iron content in one of the root tabs versus the other We've got seven stems of that we have seven stems of Vallisneria here just short portions I uh, thought it was actually going to be difficult enough to plant these as it is so we've got seven short little portions of Vallisneria which we yeah that will be a real test because they are heavy root feeder plants there and last but not least we have seven portions of Cryptocarini species Wenty Brown which is going to be another good test uh, of uh, the quality of some of these root tabs okay so I'll go ahead now and um, get my tweezers go ahead and plant out all these pots and uh, we're, we're getting very close to getting this experiment started Okay, um, one other thing, I just got a bunch of these stems of um, AR Mini, so I'm also going to add a stem of each of that into it, all the pots. Okay, so we've got them all planted out now and it's time to put them in a tank. I do have a tank over there, it does get CO2 and fairly decent lighting, but um, because everything's starting off on such an even playing field, it's all going to get the same water, even if I dose liquid fertilizers, it's going to get the same amount each. So, And some of you might be wondering, oh, is it a real test if we put it under decent lighting and CO2, but what we're actually measuring is the difference in each and if there's any difference at all. So in my opinion, that um, should be irrelevant of what is actually heading into the water uh, because everything here will get the exact same water so still certainly um, you know it should be a fun experiment and um, let's get them into the tank now and uh, get started with our countdown to uh, hopefully see some kind of result. I'm going to be very careful as well not to mix these up and I'm going to write on the tank um, which one's which so um, yeah so that <laughs> I don't have to remember over time which one's which. Okay so here's the final um, tank that I've put all these in as you can see I've written on the front control Dimax LCA API Osmocote ADA the date which the experiment started 10th of the 10th and CCAM as well so uh, we've got them all lined here at the front and uh, we'll see how this experiment turns out over time so um, what we'll do is we'll just pick up the camera when we have some progress so we'll see you then Okay, so here's the first update on the tank. This was the 30th of October, so 20 days later. Uh, the LCA, API, and ADA and CCAM ones it looked to be doing pretty well out of the gates and seem to have the most growth, uh, but uh, not a huge difference amongst the seven uh, 20 days later. Then this is the 23rd of November, so um, over a month after the initial experiment, about six weeks and uh, the CCAM is definitely taking off here. The ADA is doing pretty well too on the stem plant front, but uh, definitely the CCAM looks to be the clear winner at this stage. The yeah, ADA is supporting the stem plants well. Osmocote has the crypt looking pretty happy there. 
API, not too bad. And the LCA seems to be supporting the VAL best of all. The Dimax is doing okay and the control, uh, everything's still alive, so nothing to be alarmed about there. Then the 7th of December, this update here, so approximately eight weeks after the initial um, experiment, and similar sort of story, the Seachem just further ahead, their definite winner. Okay, so it's the last day of the experiment now. Today is the 13th of December, and here's a final look about what these uh, pots look like now. So I think the categorical winner is the Seachem, which does make sense because it was the most uh, expensive investment, I guess. That Ludwig of Rubin has just really taken off. Um, everything pretty much except for the Synaganthus Belem grew in here. You can see the Val is taken off in the back there. Uh, we've got the AR Mini, but that's not so mini, so I wonder if that is just AR. Uh, we got the Crypt, uh, which is doing perfectly fine as well. And yeah, just generally speaking, I think the, the Ludwigia Rubin sort of tells the tale on that one, so I think the winner has to go to the Seachem. Second, I think, is ADA, so if you get a bag of Amazonia, do not throw out those supplements because they make a fairly good root tab. Once again, the uh, Ludwigia Rubin is going off. Although, actually, if we take a closer look, the Crips and the Val haven't done that bad, so uh, it could actually just be a water column thing with the ADA supplements. So if we do compare purely on the crypt and the val uh, consumption being the two heavier root feeders, API and Osmocote are looking pretty good. So API, crypt 20, very happy. Uh, and the Osmocote uh, is yeah doing well for the crypt and the val, but nothing else really. So um, I do think the Osmocote Actually, it's quite interesting because uh, the ADA seems to be doing, apart from the Ludwigia Rubin, seems to have done worse than even the control. So, <laughs> in, in this experiment's results, uh, it's better off to put nothing in than the ADA supplements, I guess. But uh, yeah, the control, the crypt, and the AR Mini look to be doing the best. If we take a look at the Liverpool Creek Aquarium, uh, we've got the Val doing pretty well. The AR's doing okay. The Crypt is doing okay as well. And we've got a little bit of growth out of the Ludwigia Rubin there as well. So um, overall, pretty good. Perhaps uh, the Liverpool Creek uh, is maybe third place. And second place, perhaps the API because we've got a lot of growth out of the uh, Ludwigia Super Red. Um, as you can see, actually one stem, two stems, and then three stems out of the super red. So if you want something with a lot of iron in it, I'd say API is to go. So the Crip's nice and happy, the AR's growing, and uh, the only thing that sort of died off is that Belem and the Val. So I guess in summary, if we take a look, I think the Seachem was the winner, maybe the API second place, LCA third place, um, Dimax, didn't do too great, uh, basically on par with the control, but um, I guess you get 50 in the packet, so you could potentially put a lot more in there than the two I put in there. Maybe if I ran the experiment again, I'd put five in there or something and see if that did any better. And yeah, overall, just a fun little experiment. I recommend uh, doing it at home to test it out in your own water, in your own conditions. But um, that's the results that I had after two months of growth. So there you go guys, there is my experiment to find out what is the best root tab. I think the Seachem has to be the winner in this case. Hopefully you like this video. As you can see, I did have to invest a little bit of cash in uh, root tab investments there. So it would really help me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff so we can do more experiments in the future. If there is a particular experiment you'd like me to run, let me know down below and I'll happily look at it. Other than that, Hopefully you have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.